All right, everybody, welcome back. This is the spoiler trailer for Deadpool. And spoiler trailer? Or this, <laughs> not spoiler trailer. <laughs> welcome back, everybody. This is the spoiler review for Deadpool. This is a fucking epic movie. Um, again, awesome, uh, awesome way to start the movie with this uh, <laughs> the opening sequence instead yeah, of having well, we've all seen fucking online. names of, of people. You you have like random shit like hot chick or ugly guy that directed by a total douchebag. <laughs> I mean, it, everybody in the audience was fucking laughing their asses. Off. Oh yeah. I mean, it was it was a great way to start it, and great this, visual. Oh yeah, the, comedy. The, as the whole well. the whole CG opening where you're seeing all this random shit. You know, you see the guy with the fucking cigarette lighter spitting it out of his mouth. He's he's giving a giant fucking wedgie to the <laughs> to the motorcyclist. That was fucking epic. I mean. You, you can't I don't know if I've ever seen a more entertaining and hilarious oh yeah opening I mean sequence. in terms of just grabbing you right away yeah just and, right off the bat and the Hello Kitty fucking lip gloss I was like where the <laughs> fuck did this come from <laughs> This movie just right off the bat just grabs you. I mean, plot wise, it doesn't get too deep. No, into anything. and you don't. I mean, with Deadpool, you don't really need anything deep. He's not yeah. a deep character. <laughs> yeah. Even Wade Wilson wasn't a deep character. They they made him a little bit deeper with this movie because I guess they have to. You know, it's Hollywood, so they have they to have do have the to, love interest. You know, it's a little shake weighty. <laughs> yeah. No, they got to do the love interest. It's the love interest, uh, per, played by Marina Barak. Barracon. Barracuda. 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 (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Of course, we all know her from Firefly. Drop dead gorgeous uh, back then. And I swear to God, this girl gets better with age. She is just smoking hot in this movie. Um, Great chemistry between the two. Oh, God. I mean, you could tell that the two of them had, they must have been like best friends, like off screen as well, because there was so much chemistry between the two of them. I mean, granted, they're both great actors, but the way that they were just feeding off of each other in the scenes, there's no way that they couldn't have been just like boom, 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 oh, yeah. off screen as well. I mean, Jesus, dude, they had it was they had, they had fire, yeah, absolutely. Um, I loved <laughs> kind of the because they have to incorporate X Men <laughs> to a degree. <laughs> Oh, and like like you said on the other on the other review, you know, it's like how many times like how many fucking times did they reference things? Did he break the fourth wall? I mean, holy shit! I mean, that scene did. back at the end where it's like, oh, such a huge fucking house, and uh, there's only two of you. Hmm. It's as if the studio couldn't afford more X Men. <laughs> fucking brilliant uh, I, uh, I i wish you would have kind of made a joke about the fact that marvel doesn't own like the x-men license anymore <laughs> oh i'm sure he will in the future i'm sure he will in the future another one of my favorite scenes is when he breaks uh he breaks the fourth wall to tell a story and in the story he breaks the fourth wall again and he's like that's like 16 walls <laughs> <laughs> fucking great i will say however the one thing the one thing i didn't like about this movie uh it might be trivial on my part but still as a fan of the character he during his i don't know how you want to say it during his transition from wade wilson to deadpool he goes through he his mind breaks and fractures into several mm-hmm. different mm-hmm. personalities And if you've ever played the video game, read the comics, or even seen some of the cartoons, he talks to himself. Like, he has the voices in his head. In the comic book, it's different colored boxes or bubbles, uh, different shaped boxes or bubbles. And and if you know anything about the the character, at one point, he actually, his, his broken psyche breaks completely and it take it's taken over by a red box and the red box tells him to kill everybody Mm -hmm. and so i won't get too deep into that but there was not even maybe one point uh, during this movie that he actually showed any kind of split personality and that was when he was in the in the taxi cab when all four of them were in the taxi cab yes (laughs) and he's sitting there telling colossus and the chick in the back no i didn't tell him to do that do it kill I'm so proud of you. Oh, this is just horrible. I would never do it. Do it. Do it. That would that would actually probably be a great exploration for the sequel. Oh maybe. God, yeah. 
Because, I mean, Robert Wells could do it. That would be awesome for, like, you know, four or five different personalities that he's kind of, like, constantly looping around. Oh, that, would be, be. that would be... That would hopefully, yeah. Because, I, I mean, I agree, yeah. I mean, he remains the smartass throughout. Which is great, you know, Which we all great. love that. But... Yeah, but uh, it, would, it would be really cool to see because, I mean, like, his, like, torture transformation is brutal oh oh my god <laughs> it's a really brutal it's, scene. they did a really good job with that whole sequence of him fucking being transformed into deadpool yeah it's like you're actually kind of surprised he made it out as well as he did given yeah what he was put as, as sane as he supposedly is going through all that shit uh one thing i just i just forgot another i guess two things in this movie i didn't really care for the second one was he is supposed to have regenerative uh, regenerative uh properties to rival not just match but rival um wolverine and we've all seen the wolverine movies he gets shot bullets pop out and he heals he gets cut across the Mm -hmm. face heals within seconds now, the only time you see anything like that actually happening where he's healing in seconds is when he holds up his arm and he's like, motherfucker, and the hole starts to seal. Mm-hmm. But he gets his fucking, he cuts his own hand off, and it takes like fucking hours for this little baby hand to come back. <laughs> I mean, that was a cool scene. I liked the scene. The scene was fucking creepy. It's fucking funny. And this little like hand. <laughs> and, oh, that was fucking awesome. Uh, our, our, our buddy Jamin that came with us, he looks at me and he's like, that's fucking nasty, man. <laughs> <laughs> i get the comic relief of that scene and i get why they did that uh mm-hmm. but in the future if they're going to do you know when they do another movie not if they're going to do another movie um make sure that you guys fucking like he he's supposed to get his fucking arm cut off and it grows back yeah. in like two seconds you know? yeah but even with wolverine and the x-men they always kind of played around with that it seemed that the time it took him to regenerate was whatever created the most drama yeah, that's true. Is <laughs> that like a climax of the story? Yeah. yeah, you know he gets shot in the head, and usually he just heals immediately. I mean, he gets shot in the Stands head, stands up, and looks back. At but he, him but then for like off. one dramatic moment, he gets shot in the head, and he's like unconscious for like you know five minutes. Yeah, and, and then when it's dramatic, <laughs> come back. That's when he does. But um, that was an adamantium bullet. Mm. That's the reason why he was knocked unconscious. Okay. <laughs> I haven't seen X2 in a while. So. No, that was the Wolverine movie, okay? Oh, fuck. Yeah, it was Give terrible. Give a shit about that. Terrible. And I love how they just... They they reference the fucking the, Hugh Jackman. Reference. They reference not just Wolverine but Hugh, Hugh Jackman, Jackman in particular. Oh, left and right. I mean, this just the shit that they reference from from all the all the fucking X Men movies, but that one in particular that was just like. <laughs> When it cuts to the Just little a like big fuck you, a little, the little Deadpool action figure yeah. from the origins. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna. That's not even the worst thing you've ever seen, and then it cuts to that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, villain wise, um, I mean, not really he, much. Yeah, there wasn't really much to go with on that guy. I His mean, name was Francis. His name was Francis. That um, I got. I love the the whole interaction between. Uh, Francis and Deadpool. They had some, yeah, they had some they had really some good, really good. Moments. You don't really figure it out. You don't really know too much about him, where he comes from. You kind of get like the little backstory. A little backstory. He but got experimented much. on also, and now he can't feel anything. Like, I mean, that's really about it. About it, yeah. And then no. you got, uh, and then you got Boobs McGee, Angel, <laughs> dude, she's smoking hot. I, you know, that kind of disappointed me. I, I was talking to Jamin on the on the way back from the movie, and it's like this this woman is is gorgeous. Like she's really sexy. And, uh, you know, the first half of the, of the movie that you see her, whenever you see her in, she's got, you know, beautiful, you know, dark hair just flowing down. And then the, when she gets into battle mode, if you want to put it, she's got her hair all tied back. And I'm sorry if this offends any of you. Oh, wait, I don't care. Uh, she looks like a fucking dyke. You know, she's out there just bull diking it around, but she's still smoking hot. It's like, dude, seriously? And then we kind of get the tease after the credits oh, about God. Where, what they want to do. Yeah, what the they want to do, but they need the money, which I'm pretty um, very, sure very they're luckily, get the money. Uh, they announced that a sequel has already been greenlit for this. Oh, movie. I'm sure it has. Uh, just luckily. the fact, like the the fan base has been so up and like just fucking yeah. Yes! If, if nothing else, yes! the, the marketing campaign for this movie has been absolutely Epic. genius. Oh, I mean, come on, man. I mean, you have Ryan Reynolds just running around like crazy 
doing anything and everything that he can. I mean, there's been like promos for like testicular cancer and breast cancer that he's been doing as Deadpool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they're fucking hilarious. But yeah. they're legitimate. Like they're not fucking like he's not clowning around. He's like, no, you take those sack, you juggle it around before you start playing happy time with that. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, hey ladies, I, I know that your men have been playing with themselves a little bit more. Well, here's a little tip for you. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, no, that's all. And, and I love that that uh, <laughs> uh, I mean he's he's the one character in all of comic books and, and cartoons that breaks the fourth wall on a regular basis. Yes, that knows and exactly what what medium he's he, in. He, what yeah, you know, regardless of, of what medium it is, he knows that he's in it. He knows he's in a fucking comic book, and you know, there's there's shots, uh, there's scenes where he's like playing with the actual box that he's in. You know, the frame yes. that he's in. You know, there's cartoons. Or he's like moving the camera. <laughs> oh, yeah, like this. He was like, kids, you don't want to watch this. And he grabs the camera and moves it off to the side. And, of course, you know, there's always a scene in the comics, cartoon, or, or video game where he sits there and he's talking to the camera. He's talking to you, the audience. And the people around him are like, who the fuck are you talking to? Mm -hmm. And they actually did that on the bridge, you know, the fight scene. And they're like, what? I'm... Who you I'm right here, dude. I can hear you. And he's like, I'm not talking to you, Colossus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to them. I'm pretty sure that this movie's gonna gonna gross a lot of money this weekend and in, in the coming months. I, I absolutely believe it. Um, I'll probably go see this movie in the theaters again, and I don't normally do that. I'm usually a one and done. You know, I get I get tired and I want to go to bed. <laughs> don't I know that? <laughs> um. But no, this movie, uh, if they don't make a sequel, they're fucking, whoever, whatever yeah. studio owns yeah. this, this, uh, no, that's gonna happen. this franchise, you're, you're fucking missing out. I mean, it's taking you this long to, to fucking realize how much uh, potential comes with that. Yeah, I'm, ho I'm hoping between like this and Mad Max, there begins a marketplace for kind of big, yeah. cool R-rated. Bring back the 80s, movies. baby. Yeah. Bring back the R ratings, baby. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess, you know, in conclusion, you know, as uh, as fanboys here, you know, it's like this is an awesome movie. Highly, highly recommend going to see this. And I will be adding this to my uh, my collection. Yeah, watch it and support it. Yes. Uh, I, one thing I wanted to say, like going back to the Ferris Bueller thing from earlier, that's what I love when you wait through the whole credits he he drops the first Bueller scene. He comes mm -hmm. out of the, out of the fucking bedroom and he's wearing a robe and he's like, "It's over. Go home. Shoo shoo. Go get out of here." I fucking love that. Like just the fact that he he uh, referenced Ferris Bueller right there. I, I was just like, it was very shake weighty. Mm. <laughs> anyway, uh, money shot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Peanut Gallery. Um, no, so, uh, yes, in conclusion, I uh, I thought this was a great movie, and it's definitely going to my collection. Absolutely. So uh, Go see it. Enjoy it. Have yeah. fun. So until next time, everybody, thank you so much for uh, sticking around and actually watching our dumb asses. Uh, and as always, my name is Peter. I'm Brian. And this is Balls Deep. I don't have any whiskey left. Oh, you fail. Mm.